Let's talk more about Microsoft Graph and understand some of the services that are available. So Microsoft Graph services are centered on users and groups. The user's data is the core of Microsoft 365 cloud services, of course. Think about a salesperson planning to create a calendar event with a customer. The salesperson can schedule the meeting invitation by using the user's protected identity with any device or platform that the salesperson chooses. As the meeting is scheduled, the calendar event will be accessible across all platforms and applications to act upon if needed. This image here shows the different types of information that Microsoft Graph can access for a user, and it's only a summation. There's even more you can get access to. Now, groups are the base environment for a user's collaboration and teamwork in Microsoft 365. Imagine a group of users in a sales team. They can use Microsoft 365 services to collaborate with their colleagues, have conversations, and share files, calendar events, notes, and more. Accessing that type of functionality is key to the sales application scenario that you saw earlier because multiple salespeople might have reached out to a customer over time. Having access to group information enables salespeople across the organization to make better decisions. So how do you call in to get this user and group information though? Well, as mentioned earlier, Microsoft Graph supports scenarios related to identity, security, productivity, collaboration, workspace intelligence, and more. For example, to access a specific user's profile information, the app can make a Microsoft Graph REST API call. And you'll see an example of that here at the top. We have one for Michelle C. And notice in this case, we're using Michelle's user principal name. Now this REST API call will return information about Michelle that can be displayed in the application itself. So here's an example of some JSON data. And this JSON data could then be displayed in whatever type of application you're working with. It could be a .NET app, it could be JavaScript, it could be Go, you name it. As long as you can make RESTful API calls, then you'd be able to get to this data in a secure way. Here's another example of making a call to get Michelle's direct report. So notice we have users slash Michelle's user principal name, followed by direct reports. That's the endpoint we want to call. So in this case, in addition to making calls to the REST APIs to get Michelle's info, we can also call in and get direct reports and get back data similar to what you see here. There would actually be a little bit more. It's being cleaned up some. But notice we can get information about Pradeep or Jordi, and we can see their roles and what they do within the organization. Now, in addition to making direct calls to Microsoft Graph REST APIs, you can use the Microsoft Graph SDK or Software Developer Kit and client libraries to simplify the process of calling a particular API. In the next modules in the course, we'll provide examples of using an SDK. Many services can be called via Microsoft Graph, as we've discussed up to this point. Let's look at three specific areas where Microsoft Graph can help you integrate Microsoft 365 data into your apps. One of the areas Microsoft Graph can help you out is in identity and access management. Imagine a large sales company with hundreds of employees and everyone in the company needs to access many apps, devices, and services throughout the day. The company requires a secure identity and access flow to be in place. Well, the Microsoft Graph API for Azure Active Directory, Azure AD you'll sometimes hear, helps organizations build a secure identity and access foundation. Developers can then use Microsoft Graph to connect to Azure Active Directory identity management services, and also automate administrative workflows. That can be a big time saver for admins as well if processes like profile maintenance, employment onboarding or termination, or tracking assignments are automated through Microsoft Graph. We'll talk about how the security aspect of Microsoft Graph works later in the course, but for now just know that you can use Microsoft Graph to automate some of these administrative workflows related to security. Another area where Microsoft Graph can help out and offer some benefits is related to our customer scenario we've already talked about. The application may need some functionality to enable salespeople to work with customers more effectively. So for example, developers could enhance our custom app to add a chat bot 
that can schedule meetings between colleagues and customers, check calendar availability, and remind salespeople about the to-do list for the day. You can build a chat bot that consumes the Microsoft Graph Outlook Calendar API and the To-Do API as a potential productivity solution. Microsoft Graph Collaboration APIs can be used for automation as well. For example, every time a new salesperson is hired, the salesperson's profile can be generated in Azure Active Directory as mentioned earlier. The new salesperson can then be added to the related team in Microsoft Teams. The scenarios that you see here can be automated through Microsoft Graph Teams APIs. Now, finally, we have people and workspace intelligence. To better understand the benefits of Microsoft Graph here, let's revisit our customer app scenario as well. Microsoft Graph services for people and workplace intelligence can help you access many insights about users and groups in Microsoft 365. For instance, a salesperson participates in meetings, reads emails, and collaborates with colleagues and customers through different channels in an ordinary workday. Hundreds of documents can be shared during collaboration, and a salesperson needs to quickly find those to make more effective decisions. By using the Microsoft Graph API for insights, you can get trending, shared, and frequently used files across the organization. This API improves productivity and makes relevant content much more accessible to users. So that's three additional scenarios where Microsoft Graph could be used. Now let's move on and see how we can actually start to play around with Microsoft Graph and use a tool called Microsoft Graph Explorer.